Hello, this is Mr. Mark, and today I'd like to talk to you about hopping on one foot. So hopping on one foot, many of us do it or have done it. Looks like this, right? That's what I'm talking about, but let's talk about some warm-ups first. So a good first warm-up is to practice just standing on one foot and practice standing on the other foot. See, I'm shifting my belly button over that foot so I'm more balanced on that foot. Other good warm-ups would just be to do some knee bends because we're going to be bending our hips, we're going to be bending our knees as we hop, things are going to bend. And then also going up on our toes, and if we need a little help balancing, I can hold on to the countertop, up on my toes. And the thing about hopping, I mean, we think we know we're hopping on one foot and we're going to go up and down on that foot. But we want to make sure that we're using all the things that are available to us to get the power we need to get off the ground and propel ourselves forward. So we want our arms to be loose. Our legs going to swing a little bit like a pendulum. Our arms come up a little bit, the knee goes forward. So I would hop, I would try hopping on my right foot and then on my left foot or vice versa. Everybody has a preferred foot. Almost everybody can hop more on one foot than the other foot, so no worries if you or your child can't hop equally on both feet. But do some hopping. Um, later I'll make some, some videos for you about hopping types of games on one foot or on two feet. But put this into your obstacle courses or just practice it on both feet. Thank you very much.